Anybody take a guess? What did J.I. Case make? Boats. Well, well, he did have a fleet of boats. He also made a car. Well, what was he most famous for? Yes. No. Navy trucks. Tractors. What? what? Oh, Case. John Deere. Tractors. Well, John Deere started the tractor uh, company right around the same time. But J.I. Case was famous in Racine for his Case tractor. And this is what this is. Now, this is a mausoleum. And a mausoleum means private. It comes from a 6th century king called King Mazel. And his wife died in childbirth, giving birth to her 28th child. 28th. Yeah, I don't know the problem there. Huh? Please. Yeah. Thirteen kids. God bless them. I have two with four grandchildren. That's a love, isn't it? That's a love right there. So, uh, this obviously is the Case Mausoleum. Uh, mausoleum uh, is a is a word that comes from the sixth century B.C. King King Mausoleum. And um, his wife died in childbirth, um, giving birth to their 28th child. I don't know the problem there or why she would deserve. No, I'm just kidding. I, I can't imagine. But yeah, so he <laughs> decided to have a way to really honor his wife, his wife and built what was then would be the, the Taj Mahal of that time in her honor. So that's why we have mausoleums. Inside is uh, J.I. Case, and the question is, is who knows what the middle name of Case is? Increase. Increase. Um, now, we also know he had a horse, J.I.C. I always ask the kids for the spelling of it, but now who can tell me where that horse was recently discovered? Under Walmart. Walmart's parking lot. That's absolutely correct. Um, yeah, the old putt-putt uh, or driving range that was out there. Mr. Miller just passed away a few weeks ago. The guy that actually owned what he sold off to to Walmart. Yes, now there's an Elvis impersonator. Um, very interested in local history uh, who actually has the bones of JIC in a Tupperware container in his basement. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I personally would like to see that animal honored. I mean, when he died, or when he when he was put out to pasture, whatever you want to say, I think it was 1909. I'm not sure if I'm correct on the date. The New York Times actually ran an obituary on the horse. I mean, still today, the records of that horse still stand in the trotting world. They're, they they have not been broken yet. Mm. So, I'm not saying pay homage to the horse itself, but um, I, I think we could really make room to have a famous historical entity like that in more than a Tupperware container in someone's really? basement. And John tried to put it in the cemetery. Yes, we did try to put that in the cemetery, but the cemetery commission of that time was against animals being buried in the cemetery. They didn't Someday feel that. Right uh, here. Well, I will tell you something. There, there are, there are, fifteen spaces inside, and one of them is empty. Oh. And it would have been my choice to actually put the horse in with his owner. Wow. Okay, that's. Uh, I really would like to see that uh, us as a cemetery grow to that point because that is. Starting to happen. How accessible is an old uh, mausoleum like this? Obviously, it's a lock. Do the keys actually. Oh, yeah, the key's point? a big, huge skeleton key to get inside. I go inside twice a year to check for damages or leaks or, or whatever. So, yeah, we keep up on it. Who takes care of it now? Is there, does he have any family left? There, um, yes. Uh, J.I. Case III was back in this area with his family a few years back because it was the 150th anniversary or something of that. They did come here. They weren't too enthused about the mausoleum. They were more interested in his roll-top desk as the Journal Times so prominently displayed. So um, we just, we do do the upkeep.
for all of these mausoleums. So. Like a perpetual hair type Yes. Is there something on each side of the door there? The whole raised up part? Looks like there would have been potted like plants or something here at one time. There has been nothing there to my knowledge all the years I've been here. However, the tile that you see there on the outside is tile that was the same type of tile that was in J.I. Case's original office, and it goes underneath the door and goes inside. It's a very ornate uh, inside of the mausoleum. How heavy is that door? What's it made out of? Uh, that door I call the HBO door because it literally, when you want to push it open and I lock it, I have to put my full weight behind it. It's about four to five inches thick and solid marble. So um, it has that typical squeak, cemetery squeak to it. That's <laughs> very interesting. So, so uh, the windows I noticed on the side were those one stained glass panels, and then had to be upgraded because of vandals. Not, not, to, not to my knowledge. Like it's no, no but it's always been a vented. Uh, we do have, uh, and I didn't go out back, but at the uh, Horlicks Mausoleum there is a a uh, stained glass window. We think it's a Tiffany. We're not positive, but it's a gorgeous. Well, how do you preserve that from vandals? There are bars okay. over, over that. So, and this is the size of my first apartment, yeah. This thing is huge. And my apartment was little. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's only one person. No. 15, 15, 15. There are 14, 14. people in there. Okay. Actually, inside there also is a gentleman that I knew when I was young. My mom was a nurse, and as uh, and she then retired from being a nurse, but she then worked as a, a, a nurse for certain people that, that needed help in her life. And near the end of his life, my mom was his nurse, and his name was Roy Case. Roy Case was the first white man in the state of Wisconsin to shoot a white-tailed deer in the very first white-tailed deer hunting season in the state of Wisconsin in 1934 with a bow and arrow. So, uh, again, uh, aside from J.I. Case starting tractors here and that, we have his grandson that did this afterwards. So. Each and every person that's here, and it's just, they have, there's so many stories here, you can't keep up. Um, so are they like cremated, or are they just stacked? No, they're, full, they're full size bodies. Okay. Uh, they are, this is, if you go inside, this is the entrance way. This is where people would stand for the service. This is where the deceased people are. They're, they're single crypts. They have brass handles on them. And uh, their names are carved into the marble and painted in a, in a gold paint. So it's like they have a sarcophagus? Yes. Now do those have death masks? No, there are no. It's just name, your birth, your death. Does anyone still visit? No. Okay. Like I said, the last family member that was here was Jack Case III. Uh, he drove up on his yacht from door came to visit for a little while and there were came up to you says hi is it three thousand dollars uh yes uh door county or something like I'm not, sure. I'm not yeah so the case um, i'm not even sure that okay. caleb is still with us the case family is still doing okay though. yes the case okay. family is still doing all right <laughs> so now i see what looks to me like clubs is he a card player Irish descent? Just use Irish descent, and that's the uh, shamrock. Okay. shamrock. Thank you. So. Okay. What did something like this cost? Well, I can only tell you uh, back in the, in the 70s, uh, one was built in here for uh, less people, and that in itself was $300,000. Were the bars late addition for security purposes? Because it looks as though that may have been battered prior to that. Uh, I, to my knowledge, they've always been in that condition, and I've always thought of people—they're—they're they're just you know, people stick things in here, want to pry it up so that they can 
take a look. Take a look. <laughs> um, so, 